hullabaloo and howdy do, musty bronze and Timbuktu. Okay, so you may remember way back when I did this video showcasing TIE Fighter running on an Android tablet. Now, a person was curious and asked me to do a tutorial. I tried to fulfill his request, but the video did not turn out that great, and so it was not published to YouTube. Yeah, there were a whole bunch of technical issues that got in the way of the video, so I'm going to try again. This time, with a new toy called Jenny Motion. So yeah, Jenny Motion is an Android emulator that basically simulates a full-fledged Android device. In my case, it's simulating a tablet. So yeah, I can just scroll back and forth between the home screens here. Anyway, before we get started, I should tell you three things that you'll need from the Android marketplace. First is ES File Explorer, or some sort of um, file manager. I recommend ES because it comes with a built-in text editor. We're going to be using that to um, mess with some DOSBox configs. And over here is the DOSBox Manager. This basically um, allows you to set profiles for all of your DOS games. And we'll be making a profile for TIE Fighter in this lesson. And this one is the most important piece of all, the DOS emulator itself, DOSBox Turbo. This is not free. It will cost you about three something dollars. So that's not much, but it's still something to keep in mind. Anyways, the first thing you're going to want to do is copy all the files on the TIE Fighter CD onto your Android device. I'm using the TIE Fighters Collector's Edition CD-ROM for DOS. So basically, you're going to want to take all these files straight down here, all of them, and copy them to the Android device. First, so in order to do that, the fastest way to do that is to click the first file, scroll all the way down, hold shift, then click the second file. Every single file in the folder will be highlighted. Now, you can highlight just one of them and click copy, and it will copy all the files, and just you can paste them onto the Android device somewhere. Of course, being the enterprising fellow that I am, I've already gone and copied the um, files. They're in this folder here, SD card, DOSBox, TIE, and here they are. So you're going to need to remember which directory you copied the files to, because you're going to need to specify the path where the files are So in your mount lines in the DOSBox config. So that's just how it works, so I have no control over that. Anyways. Let's go ahead and try and set this thing up, huh? Let's go into DOSBox Manager. As you can see, I've already made a little TIE Fighter profile, but we're going to go and edit this thing. Go into DOSBox Settings and select Manual Mode. You're going to want Manual Mode because we need to do a little tweaking with the joystick. And because TIE Fighter's joystick settings are somewhat temperamental. So, yeah. We're going to need to edit the config file. Scroll down to joystick, and where it says timed, we want to make that. We're gonna make. We're gonna to want to make timed false, because otherwise the joystick will just. Otherwise, when you start the game, the joystick will make the Tie Fighter um, rotate in circles, and that won't be very fun. And we want to save that. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is put in our mount lines. The first, so we're going to need to mount the um, folders where the TIE Fighter files are stored. So we're going to start, no, don't do that, and mount C. Mount C just tells us what we're going to mount as the C drive. So this is where you're going to install your TIE Fighter files. So I'm going to go mount SD card DOSBox um, tie DIR, I think it is. Yep. So now, next, we're going to need to mount a CD drive. So the next thing you're going to want to do 
is going to mount D MNT and just copy the first part of this MNT SD card DOS box tie. Also, you're going to want to add these little characters after the end T C D ROM. Now we're going to want to save this. Also, we're going to need to start. We're also going to need to tell the DOS emulator to run the program at start. So we're going to go D tie. Okay. Now, it should be ready to run now. Okay, so let's just go. Dang it. I need to hit the back button. Hit the back one, then there we go. So now it's all saved, yeah, and our config looks ready to go. We don't really need a whole lot for this game to run, so we'll just leave the rest of the settings as is. Now, next, let's go into our button controller maps. So basically, you're going to want to test your controller here. I don't have a controller connected, so it's not really working that great. But one thing you're going to want to do here is map D-pad to input device. I find the um, joystick settings are kind of awkward as of right now. At least you might want to try, you might want to experiment with this one. But um, I found that with my controllers, mapping the, just leaving this unchecked causes all kinds of problems with the joystick. So yeah. Let's just go ahead and get started then. Oh, and, and before we begin, we're going to want to select input mode and select physical joystick. No, hold on. That's not right. We want touch screen, we want um, touch screen mouse first. Because we need to do some install settings before we begin. So in any case, let's go. Go into TIE Fighter. Okay, so now you're going to want to pick maximum install. No. Okay, so you need to drag the cursor over to maximum install, click it, and select continue. This will install all the TIE Fighter files onto the um, onto the SD card in the directory you specified. Look at it go. And now we come to the good part, the sound card setup. Now you're going to want your virtual keyboard for this. So in order to hit the virtual keyboard, just, um, yeah, you're going to want to swipe down from the top here and bring down the DOS box menu thing. Here it is. And click that little thingy. That will bring up the virtual keyboard on a normal Android device. So you're going to want to hit you're going to want to hit E for express setup. Then you're going to want to hit the return key. And it will detect the emulated sound blaster in DOSBox. So now, let's test the sound, huh? About to test music. So we did hear music. So let's take um, turn that off. Let's say yes. About to test digital sound. So we did hear that. And now we need to check positioning. So that was good. And there we go. We're all done here, so let's just exit the game. 
Oh, but there's one thing I should probably do. You probably heard all that crackling and stuff in the um, game, so let's just do one last thing and see if we can fix that, huh? I'm pretty sure... Let me check and see if it's enabled. Yup, it's enabled. Just, like, turn that... Tur just turn turbo audio off. That should stop flickering. That should stop the cracking sound nonsense. All right. Let's just go in here and have a look-see. Now, oh, isn't that cool? All right. So, it looks like it's working okay on the emulator. It'll probably work better on a decent Android device, but regardless. All right, well, that was the nine tutorial, so have a nice day, and good luck. Tell me how it is.